Okay. So we're just doing a quick preparatory thing, I guess, at this point. Um, where I am trying to... Oh, God, i got to generate the server config and then trigger that. And then I can record the video, because I, I realize I can't do the video until I have the server ready for it. I think the yeah, I can like use this like four camera setup for like these workflow videos, and then convert to like the single shot for the actual like content videos. So that way, that it'll be like visually distinctive which one's which, which is you know seems helpful. Okay, fucking focus. Part of the game here is... Okay, so this is the thing that generates the config file per student. Let me go through and check it. I don't have to explain what I'm talking about. Workflow video. Add student to config. Student ID color. Push into the roles. Student. Hoist is false, color is color, name is student, hoist is true. Yes, so these are the roles. The roles, yes, so each student will have one role that is like, one role is like them, their ID, and the other is that they are a student. Could add like another category for a human, um, which is to differentiate from all the bots. But there's only one bot, so it's actually not helpful there. And there are different types of human um, that, is, that can report in distinction. Like there's the students, I'm the prof, and then there's also like observer folks who are like other professors or professor-like objects who like are observing the course. Um, two of them are professors who are also using like the same kind of techniques and like the class, the capstone classes that they are teaching. <sighs> Stop explaining it to them. <laughs> they don't. Get your shit done, my dude. Okay, and then we have this. So we're going to set their nickname to be their student ID. So this is the anonymized form. Um, and if I wanted, if I could also... I'm going to make another one of these that like reset the nickname thing because I want to be able to stream, I want to be able to record stuff in Discord without doxing the students with their user ID. I also should technically be like changing their profile picture too, but like honestly it's like sorry, I that's, you know, I'm thinking about best effort and like I just don't, I just don't have that in me right now to figure out how to access that. I, I kind of want to eventually, I probably will eventually. Um, for now. We won't add categories. Okay, so we're adding categories. We're making one category per student name. Position is zero. No. We're going to push the student categories up from the bottom. Um, and we'll organize it by... Eh, I don't care what I'll organize it by. I'll organize it in the, in the order that they filled out the survey. Uh, I might randomize it, actually. I'll probably do that later on. When I start setting up cron jobs, I'll probably randomize the order of the student stuff, just because it's like... Um, 
because otherwise, like the ones that are on top, I will see more. This is a thing I've learned. Um, so randomizing the order, it'll be harder for them. Um, will be harder for them to find. Uh, I should make them pick an emoji so I can it's easier to scan for. Because just scanning for those hex numbers isn't easy. All right, there's also a version of this. I'm scraping the audio, so it is actually worth giving some of these explanations, although it does slow me down. Focus. I need to start recording by 10. Let's say that minimum, like earliest. Okay, so categories, push, name, student, position, blank, which is gonna start from the bottom. Uh, permission overwrites, um, the role, that is the student ID, will have the ability to view channels, send messages, read the message history, and manage channels. Manage reactions. Manage messages. Okay, yes, so thank you. So in the category that the own in this student's category. They can view all the channels, they can send messages, they can read the history, and they can manage channels, which I think means like make new ones. I hope that means, that's what that means. Manage reactions, which is like managing other people's reactions. Specifically, I'm adding that one because it's gonna start with the bot making messages for them, and they need to be able to turn that on or off, which is gonna be, which is currently being managed by the, being handled by reactions. Manage messages means, because also, they can delete messages from other people. That seems dangerous. Right now, um, I'm not concerned with them like causing problems, like griefing, I guess the term would be. Like if I send a message, I don't want them to delete that, but I think I would outrank them because I'm the owner, whatever. Um, it's more just like, what are the mistakes that you could make if you had these permissions? Uh, principle of least access, they say. Um, Okay, so I also need to be able to actually convert these to something else. Uh, so the student cannot send messages. So it's standard students, generic students cannot send messages to this channel, um, which is like the person. Right. This this is it's it's this is your house. This is the student's house. You no one else can come in. It's a glass house. It's a public space. It's like your. It is. This is your desk in the office. Like, it's yours, but also it's public space. So, <laughs> I think that's how we're gonna handle that. Okay, server capstone. Uh, so we need to be able to handle these things. Um, permissions, so we have view channels, send messages, read message history, manage channels, create public threads, send messages and threads. Those are things that they would need, um, which I guess I'm going to have to specify because I'm going to explicitly deny it here. This is also one of those places where it's like, it's like, wait, if you if you have, if you don't have send messages, like, <laughs> does that include threads? One would think, but I don't know. Profile it, where are you at? There you go. And yeah, that was the linter doing that. <laughs> okay, and the prompt messages. This category was owned. They'll add channels. 
Right. And the channel names. It's not, I think. Let's keep it simple. Keep it. Mm. No, keep it simple for now. Because I'm gonna. Sh this is assignment or whatever it is. Exercise. At least I do like this from exercise. I could just gaslight everybody and just go back and retroactively change those things from assignment to exercise. Um. Just, you know, it's the kind of thing like that would be like a double take thing. Like everyone, like not everyone, but us. People who notice would be like, didn't they used to say assignment? And there will be no record. <laughs> um, might do that. And then the general chat, so. I think I do need to have that there because I think that the standard category creation protocol makes a general chat channel. And so if I did specify this to their user ID, it would I don't, it like it would double make it. It would make two. Um, it would make yeah, it because it because it, it, it checks if it exists by name. Um, Yeah, I, I could add stuff for that, but I think it's fine. The only real downside here is that there will be a lot of uh, channels with the same name because um, every category will have a general chat, um, which may or may not become a problem. In Python, one of the sort of soft rules <coughs> is um, assume context. So don't, if you're in a category, category called bananas, don't call it banana general chat. Just like assume that everybody knows that you're in a category called bananas. So you just call it general chat and it is already implied that it is bananas general chat. However, there's also, that also, that works only if you are certain that the context will always be preserved in all contexts, in all situations where you're trying to like figure it out. Because like if I pull out all those channels, now I just have a list of channels. It's like it's I mean, the the parent is always going to be in the data of the channel, but it might not be. Um, it's sometimes nice to scan. Focus. Point is, you change it later. Topic. This is the main channel to. Don't do that. For, we know for loop? For each. Oh, that's how for each works. For each channel name. Channel names dot for each. It takes, okay, for each thing. <sighs> See, I could start. No, I want to make. I want to like generate myself. Um, no, I can't generate myself because of the weird foible where the bot cannot make, cannot assign me roles. I can make the category for myself and then assign myself to it later. That's probably the right move. Uh, so I'm not going to do stuff in here until then. Um, I will, I'll do it in the channel. Who, who, why not? General chat. Fucking do it. Yeet it. Oh, wait. Is it valuable? Okay. 
Bot Playground. Overthinking it. Let's do it. Who cares? Fuck it. Chat. Uh, explain this code. It doesn't feel right. It's fine. Who cares? It's it's not wrong. It's sloppy. This is also I actually this is a nice opportunity for me to see what the students see, like with the prompting that's in place here. Um, Single string which represents the name of the channel of the student for each. This line uses the for each method to iterate over each element in channel names array. For each channel name in the array, it executes the provided function, passing the current channel name as the argument channel name. Passing the current. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, no, go away. For each, so for each thing in the, in the list, in the array, oh, we're gonna do the anonymous function, this is the input to that. So for each channel name, that's just the thing I'm naming it. It could be named anything there. It doesn't, it's not gonna know. It's just like each, it's element. So I'm just naming it channel names, obviously. Um, for each, for each channel name in the array, it executes the provided function, passing the current channel name as the argument channel name. So it's gonna create, the object being pushed has several properties. Being pushed, so we're pushing something. This might not be right. We're pushing in. Oh, config. Config.channels. I see. And then we, oh, and then we get this from the context. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pushing in these channel definitions. And we currently don't have the ability to set permission overrides for channels. We don't need any of those. Okay. Great. Oh right, and JKL is gonna be my test test case. Um now, okay, so we have, well, this is a function, thank you. <clears throat> this is code that the bot mostly generated for me at, at some point in the past, so this is why I'm kind of like, this is why it looks like I'm like digging in trying to understand my own code, it's because I didn't actually write this function. Um, it was kind of like a, hey, make a thing that does this thing, and it, like, it mostly seemed to work, but now I have to, I'm actually going to check it because now I'm gonna like, trigger it and make, you know, so it, whether or not it works is important to me because <laughs> I don't want to have to clean it up. Um, students for each, I know how to do, I know what that means now. Um, oh, this is going to be a list of student infos. We've already defined a student info up here. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. For each student, add student to config. Combined config is going to be some global, I guess. Where's combined config come from? Oh, it's up here. Oh, okay, it's the whole thing. Roles, members, categories, and channels. Yep. Console log, combine. So you turn it into a YAML, just because it's nicer. And you put an output path. There you go. Make the directory. Recursive true, presumably means it's making make the parents as well. <sighs> right file sync. Strange name for that, but okay. Great. Um, so, make John beefed. <laughs> beefed. No, it's the wrong color. It is funny. 
I should let John be foof. Oh, what are some funny ASCII names? This is a bot question. What are some funny ask er uh, uh what are they called? Hex key. Hex code names. No. There's no S. Oh, five. Coffee. Decade. Fifi. What about beefed and foof? Does not know what, does not understand comedy, but that's okay. Beef is funny. Um, beef is funny. <laughs> it's gonna do that. Um, and okay, so let's go into the server. I've already tested this in another place, but I'm just gonna. So I'm just gonna. I'll, I'll test it with John in the server. JKL John. The J stands for John. Um, and then if that works, I'll just make mine to match his, and add the roles to myself. There's already a foof, I believe. Okay, let's check the roles. Let's make that sure that the order's in the right way. Oh, I gotta invite uh, Skellybot John. I invite him here. Do I need that? Why the fuck not? Um, I need to keep track of my Discord application. Okay. Uh, I just gotta make sure to make not showing not to dox myself here. Discord application. Um, so basically, like the functionality that I'm trying to use right now doesn't exist in main Skelly. Um, DuckDuckGo doesn't know how to make that jump. I think it's because Google has so much data about me, they know that I do like software stuff, so when they search for Discord application, it gives me the developer portal. Where DuckDuckGo, it gives me like the blank portal because that's the more general assumption. Okay, I'm gonna click away before I show anything sensitive. Um, OAuth URL generator. So I'm generating an invitation um, to the dev, the, the dev. So skellybot dash John is like a dev. Yeah, I should change that name. Fuck it. I'm gonna change it in the server anyways, who cares? <sighs> so you need to have application commands, you need to have bot. Uh, and down here you need I don't know if you need manage server, but I'm gonna give it to you anyways. Shit, does that mean you can make servers? Holy shit. Okay. Manage servers, manage roles, manage channels, change nickname, manage nicknames. I forget what expressions are, but give it, take it, why not? Um, read messages, view channels, manage events. Probably should at some point, but we'll add that later. Ah, eh, fuck it, take it, why not? <coughs> We're kind of breaking principle of least access right now, but that's fine. View server insights. Be useful. Uh, 
Send messages. Create public threads. Send messages in threads. Manage messages. No. You don't need that. Embed links. Attach files. Read message history. Add reactions. Later. And so I copy this. Um, Who cares? I'm, oh, I put it over here too. Uh, so, okay, so technically that invite is now, is no longer, this is no longer a private invite. Um, but it's for the, it's for the dev one, um, which is not up very often, and I could also, I could yank its credentials. Break it yet? Break it later. Okay. I think I just figured out how to fix that. Um, I just have to I can like reset a credential, and I just need to change it in the code. Um, I don't think it will like break it elsewhere. Um, so, anyways, now so I click that link, and now it's invite that guy, and now I'm going to invite it to who is it? Um, fuck! I was also showing uh, unblanked. It's fine. I don't know, guys. Like, if anybody has a problem with the potential of your username having been seen in teensy tiny little, like, legible letters, let me know and I will go back and edit that out. But, like, otherwise, I'm tired. <laughs> I won't do it in, like, this is, like, it's buried in, like, a, one of these workflow videos, so hopefully it's fine. There's really nothing being exposed. Potentially your name, if you chose to name it that. But then, I don't know. doing it again. <sighs> Authorize. It sucks because like Discord has a tool that's supposed to be streamer mode that is supposed to hide usernames and it doesn't work. It straight up does not do what it's supposed to do. Like it it hides some of the names, which like are you like what? What like I don't know if there's some like like underlying thing that's just like oh if you've done something then it like shows it but like it, it it's it's things anyways fucking whatever I guess I will go over here also, why didn't... Oh, I invited to the wrong place. <sighs> What's the name of this place, this one? Continue. Okay. Now you're in. Thank you, Skelly Bot John. <laughs> Okay, so let us first test this in the template channel, which is like a, a this is like a little fake server. Uh, I'm not going to add these tools sections just yet because I don't want to, I'm already adding so much. Um, okay. So let's go in here. Meh. 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 <sighs> Can I delete you easily? No, I can't. No, I can't. 
No, I can't. So funny. Uh, I need that one to exist. Skelly bots above. Profs above student. Okay, so there's no rules except for those. No, no like individualized rules. You're all already purple because you're all students. So let me remove those rules from you. The purple's hard to read, um, at least with this coloring. Okay, let's go. John is here. Um, let us. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we're gonna have to. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, also clear your nickname. Okay, so JKL is beefed. And we're gonna. Oh, Skellybot John is gonna, with the dev Skellybot, is gonna be changing Skellybot Skellybot. I wonder if this is case sensitive. I can't, I never know. And then you're gonna be orange or something, which it's going to be, so, okay, so, hex codes are RGB, so FF is 255, so RGB, um, we're going to want orange, so all red, FF, um, half of orange, which is like 88, eight, nine, nine, and then no blue, yeah, great, hex keys. F times F equals 256. And you know, <sighs> Skelly Bot's gonna have that, that's gonna be there. So, let me make sure that Skelly Bot John Dev is gonna be a higher status than standard Skelly Bot, and he is. I think I also need to make sure I keep, I need to keep this up because that helps me remember <laughs> um, what is and is not visible. That's not going to be super legible, but it should be 4K, so it's like, whatever. Escape. Okay, so we have this. Um, should work. I need to start to turn it down, but I did anyways. Open in terminal. Whoa. Ugh, I hate that. Ugh. I hate that. Back, 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 back. Okay, and so I say to run this, I say TS node, I think. And then the name of the who's it? Jen? Yeah. Hmm? You thinking? Eh. Category per student config.yaml. Great. Yeah, so we're making. So we got beefed, which is the color beefed, which is. See? See? It's funny. Um, the name is student. We should, let's tag all these with actual strings because it shouldn't. I don't think it matters. But it's like, oh, I, I squished something, didn't I? Yeah. Student, yeah. student, student. How did it decide? Ooh, I have an idea. Who cares? <laughs> let it be, don't change it. Be, let it be exactly as it comes out, because that's otherwise it's not a good test. Um, great. So this is not being explicitly stat tagged as a string um, because I don't have the quotes, but I don't think it matters. Like YAML, I don't think will care. And I wonder if it's just like, but how, I don't know how it decided to put quotes around this, but not student, but I'm just, it doesn't bother me at all. It does bother me a lot. <sighs> so 
I'll go to the where. So it's just like this is weird on my brain. Um, but it might it might be doing it because of the hashtag. It might be like it might be clever. It might be it might be it might be being clever. It might be trying to be clever, which we never we never like. a certain headspace of like what if I just treated myself like a dog I really like I was like no <laughs> I know you want to chew on that but just maybe don't okay I actually really like that <laughs> so it's, it's the same as inner child but it's lower lower level it's like <laughs> inner uh, inner mammal or social mail. Um, i trying to think of a distinction that between like creatures that have like a high capacity for self-reflection and creatures that don't. Because um, I don't want to say things like sentient or conscious because like, d come on. Um, but there is like a distinction between your ability to have meta thoughts, like thoughts about your thoughts. And that's kind of what like training, self-training is. Like, that a hole. Um, Focus, fucker. Where are we? We're here. Great. Um, this is your orange, 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 orange. Okay, so focus. You got these rolls. You got beefed. You got student, student color. Student color is not specified. Um, No, we're not making a student role here. This is for the students. Uh huh. We, are, we will we will have a different, like like generic, uh, config file that will generate that. But we are going to assume in this context that um, we have already that there is already an ex an extant student role that can be added. If it's not there, it'll throw an error because like it won't work. Um, because it will try to apply a role to a member um, because students are members it doesn't exist and it'll throw an error and I think it should return that error to you in the message you tried to like in response to the message you tried to do for the command but doink great roles so we got beefed and we've got this orange orange nino <laughs> uh, okay, and then we got these members. Um, we got a Jekyll, who is beefed. The beefed matches a roll. You can make validations and stuff here if we wanted to. It would this would this would throw in the validation. It would throw like a warning, I guess, or just be like, just so you know, this has to exist for this to work. Uh, Skellybot is another username. Um, I don't like tagging by username. Because people can change their people can change their username, um, but I don't know their user IDs, so who knows? And there's there's one student that still has like the old style name, um, which means that they're they are getting inundated every day with things saying, "Hey, do you want to change your name?" Um, so that student should just grab their usernames. <sighs> or user IDs, not names. These ones are also. I think it, it must just be de like noticing that like the hashtag must be like a special character. It's like it, it, it's fencing it with a quote to protect. Okay, so you got a Jekyll. It is beefed. His nickname is beefed. Um, his role is beefed. He is a student. Um, there's another fellow in this list of members named Skellybot. Their nickname is Fininu. Their role is Fanainu and a student. There is also a category. The categ there's a category named Beefed. Its permissions are that the person who has the role, Beefed,
making sure students do not have permission to add themselves to roles. Again, not out of like draconian whatever, but just because it can like cause confusions and screw things up. Um, what, is, what does everyone have, I guess? Everyone. <laughs> Everyone can view channels and change their nickname, send messages, send messages and threads. Okay, so send messages says allow members to send messages and text channels. And I happen to know, because of the been in their stupid fucking code base, that anything you can send, a thread is a text channel. So. And then send messages in threads. So you can make it so that people can only send messages in threads. If you, ugh, so stupid. This should. It's not the worst thing. I just don't really like. I don't know. I don't like a lot of things about this kind of piece. Okay. Basic permission seems fine. Okay, and also in this category called beefed, the beefed role will be able to do, we will view the channels, send the messages, send messages to it, um, read message history, manage channels, manage reactions, create public threads, send messages and threads. Some of these are redundant. Um, so read message history and yeah, these are these are redundant, but that's fine. Um, so a standard student cannot send messages, cannot create public threads, and cannot send messages and threads. They can add reactions, which I might, I think I will use later. And then it will make, in this category, uh, it is, ha like look at this, it fenced this one because it has beefed in it, but it didn't fence this one, which does not have the hashtag in it. Okay, in this category, it will automatically make a bot prompt settings channel, and it will send these messages to it and tag them with the appropriate reactions so that they're included in the system prompt. Yay. Great, yeah. And because this this is also nice because I will I will be able to basically like regenerate this with just the student names and then just like remove the nickname part of it and then just basically run just that. It's non-destructive, um, so it, it 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 will just set their username to be nothing or set their nickname to be nothing. So that way, when I want to do like a recording, I can anonymize them, and then when I am done with the recording, I can de-anonymize them. I think that's a good way to handle that. Um, so that way it's like, if they want to like, if they, they have the option of knowing their ID and being able to like say, like when I talk about a student, they will be able to sort of see that. Um, and, uh, you know, a, yeah, a clever student, a clever malicious student could like search for that text and find out, figure out who it was. Um, because like they don't know each other's IDs by default, but this this will give them enough information to figure out if they really want to. Um, but they already know each other's identities, so that's not really giving them any additional access. Um, other than, like, I'd probably I will do my best not to say like. If I criticize, it will be constructive. <laughs> um, anyways, whatever. Okay, so that's one category is the, is beefed, and this other one is Fininu, um, which is going to be identical uh, in terms of the permissions and whatnot. We're also making channels. I don't need that because it gets auto made by the standard category behavior. Category should automatically make a bot instructions or a bot prompt or whatever the fuck I'm going to call that and a general chat channel so I actually don't need this part that makes the general chat how nice um, however a 
it is weird that it This is the main channel of the general chat. That's a bug anyways. It should it shouldn't it, it shouldn't be using channel name, it should be using student ID. But because it is obviated. Oh, but I do kind of want that to be different though. Yeah, I do want that to be different so that way. Ooh, I can use that as a part of the rag. It can grab, it can just Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna do that for sure. <laughs> uh, can we do that? Can we do that? Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't make the student roll. And I'm I'm happy to to, to put that in. Config dot rolls. Add student to config. Yeah, because it's also inappropriate for this function. Um This is the main channel too, and then this is this is within the student that function context, right? Yep, yep. Uh, this is the main channel. This is the uh, this general chat channel. Boom, with student with ID that. Yeah, so at some later date, I can make something like that's looking for, like just specifically looking for hashtags. Why not? Um, tags. 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 Uh, tags are great because like they don't have to be like some weird vector store. You can just grab the fucking things that share that tag. Like it's such a, it's such a standard, like it's like, oh, I can make the AI do it. It's like, yeah, or you can just like do it. <laughs> Ugh, it's such a funny little it's just like a thing that I think is just a natural it's like oh my god I can automate this and then well how would I automate it well I'd have to break it up into these like each individual step and have to do this that and the other oh yeah wow cool all of those steps could just be defined explicitly <laughs> so why do I actually need to like add this like stochastic element of this like weird AI LLM thing like you know 9.42, running out of time. Um, cool, so we'll keep that there. Um, so what that should do is it will make the category, it will make the general chat, and then this will override it because it will, when it, by the time it gets to the creating channels part, which it does happen in order. Um, roles, members, categories, channels, messages. Um, not using messages here because it's sort of, I want to be able to like, yeah, it's whatever. Um, bah, focus fucker, get it done. Um, I don't remember if I changed anything relevant, so let's go ahead and nuke that. Or did I just nuke? <laughs> Category for, why are you still here? Did I nuke you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh. Oh. Funny. It's like, wait, you can't delete this. There's a thing over there that uses this file. And it's like, yeah, it's the part, it's the generator. <laughs> da, da, da. Beefed. Beefed. Looks good to me. I guess. And now we're gonna we're gonna trigger this in in here. Some of these already exist. Um, it's annoying that you can't like delete hierarchy. I understand why they do that, um, but it would be nice if I could just like delete hierarchy but now I'm, I'm deleting the categories and then I have to delete the channels um, so which is like I have to like right click delete enter right click delete enter this is like death for me 
just to be clear, this is like, there is no greater form of torture for my particular <laughs> brain type than repetitive behaviors <sighs> over and over again. <sighs> like, you know the term semantic saturation? Uh, this is how I can do it. It's, this, it's like if you write the word chair on a piece of paper, by like the third or fourth time you do it, it will stop looking like a word and it will start looking like arbitrary symbols on, on, on the screen or whatever. Um, and you'll be like, don't am I spelling it? And it's because like you have exhausted the semantic extraction part of your linguistic centers. This is the cartoon story we tell. And so all that's left is like the syntactic structure of the visual input. And you're like, wait, that looks like a word, but I'm not getting any like meaning joy out of it. Um, and so like it starts, it's like a delusion almost. And I think that happened like with the ADHD human brain type, phenotype, whatever. Uh, I don't believe in identity in that way, but you know, I do believe in behavioral phenotypes and their potential for physiological basis. Um, but I think that's like, it hap like, you can think of it as like low available dopamine, um, which means that you like seek rewarding activities because you're trying to get above that threshold. And it's like, it feels like there's almost a semantic satiation that happens with like motor behaviors. It's like, I've already done this. Like I get a lot of joy from movement. Um, and I've done this movement four or five times in a row and it brings me no more joy. And now I fucking hate it. <laughs> uh, okay. That. All right. So here we are. Got this guy. Um, I don't want to do a moderator or anything. This is not a secret place. Uh, category per student YAML. Dragon draw. Oh, uh, I I could also do it. There's like a slash command for deploy, but I'm going to do the drag and drop method. Control C. Or, you know, whatever. Uh, paste method, I guess. Or message method? Message context command. Ha! <laughs> so this is that YAML. Hello, good job. Uh, right click, hep, deploy server from attachment. Go. Oh, are you running? Are you awake? He's not awake. That's my fault. Application did not respond. I understand, my dear. How could it have? Wake up. Why are you taking a long time to wake up, friend? Don't do this to me. Don't embarrass me in front of the nice people. No debugging. We die like men. Thank you. Ah. Toxic. Toxic masculinity. That was a joke. Tongue was in cheek. Maximum entertainment value. I will let this be up front and center. Uh, no, I'm bigger. Big, 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 big. So this is what it looks like when it starts up. This is the local version. Um, when it's working, which will happen this with any <laughs> with any luck, we will be able to launch. This one will work, and then I'll push to main Skelly. Um, yeah, I don't like the dev, job, dev bot being in uh, the class server. Um, again, it's I think it's confusing. It's like like one of those videos of like when a baby meets their parents' twin. <laughs> yeah. There's like, there's like a pejorative feeling of this, um, infantilizing, I guess, infantilizing of like, oh my God, like they're going to get confused, but it's not, it's not about they're going to get confused. It's about, this is a possibility for confusion to happen. So I don't want it to be in there because as I've said before, 
Um, uh, um, what have I said before? Oh, statistical mechanics for social behavior. <laughs> User interface. Like, if if there is a possibility for confusion, there's some principle that like if you have enough users, then they will find every possible configuration of your tool. Um, and I think that way about like workflows and stuff like that, like because it, it invariably, if you teach a class that's above whatever ten, if you give instructions, somebody's going to get confused by it. Somebody's going to make a mistake by it. Someone's going to st skip step two, um, and. It's not because they're stupid, it's because there was a leak. It's because your workflow had a leak in it. There was a place, it's like, do this, do that, do this, do that. And somewhere in that, there was an implicit assumption that you missed. And so because there was the possibility of a leak happening, water got out. And if you're only sending like three marbles down a hose, then yeah, they, you might get lucky. But if you're sending a, you know, a patrillion water molecules, then statistical mechanics takes over. They cease to be quantized and become mass. Massed. Massed. Rabbit hole. <laughs> uh, later I'll be able to go through and every time I say small jumping mammal void space, I'll just be able to like pull out those little rabbit hole things from the audio just by looking for that tag also like uh, mindfulness noting focus okay so okay because we had to do this twice uh, we'll do it in both ways so I could the YAML's already in here I could right click it say apps deploy server from attachment um, I could also identically do slash deploy and then it will ask for a file. Oh, this one I actually can drag and drop. Oh, I didn't really, I forgot about that. Because drag and drop um, from the, uh, like the, the project view of these like IDEs is always like a little weird. Um, because it, it, it's, it's, it's just a little weird. But it, but when you have something like explicitly it says like drag and drop here, like there's like whatever machinery is happening behind the hood there handles whatever the weirdness is from drag and dropping from there. It's more powerful than like drag and drop from a straight folder. And I, by powerful, I mean like it fails less often and works more regularly. Uh, depth available. When I run this, I don't want to do any debug shit. It should chug through, make a bunch of stuff. Oh no, I do want to make it actually because it's cool to watch things pop up. That's arguably way cooler than. Eh, did that go away? Ah, thank you. Uh, that's me, that's me. Um, so we should see... Yeah, shut up. Just, get, just stop. Stop. Discord, I hate you. No, stop. Go away. <sighs> sloppy. You are not allowed to be this sloppy when you have fucking funding. You have money. You don't care about your fucking users. You just keep adding a bunch of monetizable bullshit and things of like, oh, I can't dismiss that notification somehow falls by the wayside. Oh, like it can never figure out which fucking audio. It just drops my audio sometimes. Somehow that's not the top of the priority list, but oh my God, let's make sure everyone has a fucking soundboard. That one percolated to the top. You're a tool. I will use you for as long as you are helpful. But know that I don't like you. <laughs> if you're free and open source, I would love you from the depths of my heart. But you're not, so I fucking hate you. <sighs> this is an opinionated review. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? I'm trying to make this stupid thing go away. Yeah, delete template. We're not doing templates anymore. We don't need templates because we have the auto deploy. And the template doesn't fucking work anyways because it doesn't remember that you have community mode. Well, there. So much anger. 
Oh no, is it ten yet? Oh, we have five minutes. Oh my god. Okay, run. Okay, moment of truth. Um, I'm gonna hit this. It's gonna chug through. It's gonna make a bunch of categories, a bunch of channels, make a bunch of roles. I'm not gonna see that part, but it's gonna apply those roles to these users, and the color should change. And a three, two, one, punch it. Da. <laughs> Uh, unknown permission manage reactions. That's fair. Um, so I'm going to take away that permission or add it to the things that we can handle. I'm running out of time. It's an arbitrary deadline, but I'm running out of time. <sighs> schema, 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 schema. Messages and threads and voice messages. Okay, so we're in the server schema. This is presumably a generic version. No, this is within the category thing, which I can genericize if I want to. It's not hard. Uh, Copilot's going to fucking nail this one. Um, we probably do want managed threads too. Uh, case. The one I should care about, manage reactions. Sorry for yelling. Discord. Discord. Why? naming schema doesn't match. <laughs> Everything else had the naming matches, but there's it okay. <sighs> like there's a the thing that you set in the server for like create public threads. The flag is Pascal case create public threads. Except that apparently is not the case for managed reactions and we're gonna also delete managed threads. Um, I don't trust it anymore. Fine. You suck. <laughs> um, yum, 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 Later. Hmm. 58. Uh, okay, and because it's non destructive, I should be able to just punch it again. And it will. I don't. Because like I don't know if it got through everything because I'm um, I think it skips I'm not sure if it fails it cleared it a lot oh no it didn't make it didn't make the Fnainu. Uh made this nailed that um, all super configurations have been added to the config YAML okay running out of time. <laughs> I'm running out of time. Oh, it didn't. Um, it didn't complete because when it completes, it sends it back, and this is a disadvantage of the deploy because now it's not there anymore. But also, uh, it wasn't going to be because it wasn't right to make a new one anyway. One minute. This is it, guys. The moment of truth. Oh, you can't see my clock, but there's only one minute out of my clock. Um, I took the clock off, so you don't know. Punch it! Oh wait, you're not running. Er, maybe you are. I need to fix my error handling because I think it does die if something fails. Um, and it shouldn't, it should just like complain. Um, 20 seconds, moment of truth, punch it. Uh, we'll, we'll say 10 includes the first minute of 10. Beefed. Fnainu. There we go. Did we do it? Are we happy? What are you thinking about? What are we thinking about? Configuring channels. I mean, you did it. It's hanging somewhere. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why you hang so hard, but I'll accept it. Um, it was something in the skipping. Oh, it skips. It doesn't actually update the name. Who cares? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call victory on that one. Uh, and I'm going to... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, earlier I said that I needed to be starting the actual video uh, by 10. Uh, I have amended that retroactively to be like, I have to have the basic functionality working by 10, because I think I didn't realize that I was kind of blocked because like the functionality I needed wasn't in place. Um, I'm going to claim victory on that. No one can judge me. Now I'm just going to sort of like double check. Um, uh, what am I going to call that? Um, uh, finalizing uh, deploy functionality. <coughs> Server command, uh, command push. Are you gonna yell at me? No, you're good. Now I'm gonna double check. Um, server settings. Holes. I'm gonna look at, check out beefed. And can I do the view server as role? Here I am. It's me. I'm beefed. student and I'm, I'm a beefed student. <laughs> okay, and I can talk to general. Hi. Just changed. Oh, did the new go away? I hate this new as well. Like, I can't clear it. It's going to be so annoying. <sighs> okay, here I am in my channel. Hi. Great. I'll bet, I'll bet if I run it again, I'll bet it's like a caching thing. Is it because it has a nickname? Hmm. <sighs> So tired. Okay, Caput engine. <sighs> Scaly bot. Really stupid fucking dumb fucking thing. So I'm now uh except. Okay, so this is now the terminal for Skellybot proper up on the GCP Google Cloud platform. Docker Nice. That was a, okay. I, so, this feeling I'm feeling now is the feeling of being out of brain juice. That's, it's like, it's executive dysfunction. And it's like, I have already been, I have been paying attention for an hour and ten minutes. Um, and so, like, I, I can tell, because I, I get to that whiny face of like, <laughs> I don't want to. And then I also get to those, like, like wall staring faces of like, I can't click the button. 
I can't type three letters. It's like, I think of it as a basal ganglia thing, like the, the activation is not crossing the threshold. Um, hmm. We do appreciate these moments of introspection, don't we? Buh, 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 buh. So, um, we are going to see what the fuck is happening with Skellybot. Hopefully it's stupid. Um, and check the permissions, and then call it. And then we'll do fucking whatever, whenever, whoever, however. I think I should still be able to get something out today. But I also have to go into campus. I need to give them something. It's been too long. <sighs> Can I do it tonight? I can't do it tonight. I can't do it tomorrow morning. I'll bang something out. Docker logs ed, which is the first two letters of that thing. Dash f mean follow. Give me your stupid bullshit, you piece of dick. Something went wrong. Missing permissions. Ah, because you you have a category. That's right. It was because it has, not because it has a nickname, but because it has a category. I defined you as a student. And I can't take it off because I, I don't have that permission. But if I'm a prof, then I can. Uh... Let me do this. I, can, I found the skelly bot John. I can. <laughs> I have discovered the reason of anything to ever occur because I am a guy that knows how to do things sometimes. <laughs> On occasion. <sighs> how are we doing? How are we doing? Have I done all the things? <clears throat> if I pretend that I am a John, a, Lim, a Lon, John Limstead, JKL, not a prof, not a Skellybot, I'm one of these guys, and I can send in my channel, I can be like, and Skellybot is now free of, of this artificial. It's because I was using him as a. Uh, as a foil, I was pretending that he was a student, so he was, he was constrained, obviously. And that's the point. So then I was trying to use it as a not student, and it's like, that's the really wrong context. You did that wrong. It's the thing about computers, when they break, it's always something stupid, and it's always your fault. Okay, beefed. How you doing? Beefed. Here I am. I can, can I do this? I can't. So I can't, they can't turn that off, but that's probably fine. I like turtles. Turtles, 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 more than anything in this world. <laughs> Great. And I'm going to add this reaction to it so that it's part of the prompt config. I'm going to go in here. And now, as a John, not as a skelly bot, that's ah, a bad test, but it's fine. It doesn't, I'm not. Oh, that's what changes it. Something don't 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 like it. Don't like it. Hold shift and it opens up the extra menu. General chat. I'm gonna, I am gonna ask I'll ask both. What should we talk about? Okay, so this is DevBot. Um, what should we talk about? 
talk about. Yeah, see, there's a delay. Um, have I told you anything about what I'm into? Oh, the words are wrong. What are you into? The prompt was written, I wrote it in first person. If you're into turtles, it's ambiguous in this context. Um, this student's capstone project will be about, uh, not turtles, uh, dolphins. not going to regenerate. It is doing the thing where it's attaching the... This is the command that gets sent. Um, this is like the config. Um, these are the couplets. Human message A response. Oh, it's not populating them. <sighs> With content. Oh, context name. Oh, that's the name of the channel ID. Okay, so it's not populating them with the context. Let's fucking do that later. Um, <clears throat> this guy talks too much. Oh, because it's not going to see this because it's the wrong name, because it's not the old name. Skellybot. Skellybot is old at this point because I've been doing too much on this branch so I need to update. Um, so I'll ask it again, uh, what should we talk about? And it should be like dolphins, baby. haven't given the students an assignment. Uh, I'm just going to post this shit. <laughs> nah, I'll do the assignment thing, but it's just kind of like, they get this, like, I did it! And it's like, yeah, but that's not the task. It's like, well, I did something. <laughs> it's related to the task. It's on the path to the task. So, come on. <sighs> Anything else I need to test. But no, I think it's good. Oh, and I can't because I am I am beefed. I am John. I am beefed. I should not be able. I can't do anything. Oh, motherfucker. Roles are in the wrong order. Jesus, flip fucking Christ, I gotta be done with this. Why is it giving me the ability to add to it? Like, like the. the the 
specific ones need to be higher than the student ones. Um, I think that's true. Specific has to supervene over general. Or the opposite. Who knows? Am I? I hope my audio is coming through. Because I've been talking for a long time. Okay, it is. Should be. really neat. So everyone is here. So that works. Uh, still no way this one is that way, but I think I can. I okay. I am for sure. Uh, I need to be done. I need to be done. So the thing is, like, the bot config category was not being generated explicitly in the category. It was doing it implicitly as part of the general category completion, which, like, it's an order of operations thing. Like, if it makes it with the category, it doesn't, like, it doesn't propagate the permissions down when you set it. So, let's just go back to the generator, um, and we're making these channels, and we're going to call it, uh, and we're just going to, we're going to do the thing where we manually make the thing, just like we're doing with general chat, like we're remaking it, or we're respecifying it, I guess, even though it should have already been made in the category level. This is where you use channel name. So punch that. There we go. There we go. Got that. Um, it now will specify these prompt setting channels. If the prompt setting is with the username, beefed. Great. Um, you don't have like a new line there or something, do you? It's fucking do. Where'd you get the fucking new line from? I start yelling at the computer too. It's like, because of the colon? Oh, whoops. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, this is the full one, hypothetically. Colon is 
that just might be like deep YAML lore. It also has a prompt settings, I think it is anyway. It is prompt settings. Hmm, it doesn't recognize that. I have an idea. Who gives a shit? That's. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> you thought about that? Who cares? <laughs> Delete them. Uh, I do want this stuff level category though, but I'm going to delete you anyways. Delete them. Delete them. Bye bye. I was holding on the caps lock is a shift. Uh, the, the, own, the main edict. Keep your answers, ans, answers, answers short unless you have a reason to say more. AKA, shut the fuck up, my dude. about the rolls. I didn't do anything to the rolls. Punch it. Wait, are you running? No, you're not. Punch it. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie, dear. Oh, boy, sure wish I could fucking move this to be wider. What's that, Discord? It's impossible to change this in any context? Wow, great decision. Oh, it's because oh, it's because I didn't regenerate it after I added the S, which is there. Every single letter to be correct is the thing. Mm. It's like seriously, it's like why is there a top level one too? Oh I added that. Um the emoji is actually not part of the pattern. It just looks for prompt settings. Um, so you can add different emojis there. Maybe that's how I'll get them to choose an emoji. So I'll just have them as on either side too. Um, I think color and emoji is like, let them, let them choose that I think is a good, good, good move. Right click, copy that motherfucker, paste that motherfucker, right click that motherfucker, hit it again. Are they running? Did I do it? I may not be. Oh, we're doing it. Hit it. And it gave me it back. It, it's happy. 
It's happy. Alright, let's go back here. Trolls. I mean, like, boy, it sure would make sense if there was a button here for a view server as a role. No, we have to go into the role. Okay, so now I am... Oh, I deleted... No, I didn't delete students. I am... Why is it different, though? It was... Did I change the... I did change that. Okay, so here I am. I am... I am a beefed student. Yeah! Wait. Is that... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I can talk in there, I can talk in there, I can talk in there. The names are good enough. Um, I am going to very quickly, without concern, Add another hashtag to that so that the it's gonna be like it'll be hashtag that thing again because you can tag these things. It's a tag, it's auto tag, it just happens automatically. Um, I'll be able to search for it later or like, like extract it if I need to. It's like adding a handle. <sighs> okay, here I am. I am I am beefed, I am a beefed student. And I can write in here, and I can write in here, but I can't write in here, and I can't write in here. Hell yeah. I also have a plus sign for mine. I don't have a plus sign for yours. I have an, I can, I have an edit channel for mine. I can't, I don't have one for yours. Uh, Boss not going to want to talk to me. Skellybot John will. Skellybot's not going to be able to talk to me because it's categories for, for Bowden. What's my ID? Beefed! Say beefed right now. I'll populate that content later right now. I don't want to. Fix some dumb buggos. Buggos. We're calling this good. Um. Yeah, we're calling this good. Uh, we have pushed to this branch. We haven't we have committed to this branch. We didn't actually push. Dangerous. Dangerous. Push. I got to push. <sighs> okay. And so now... We're gonna push to main skelly. That's gonna take a second. I might have to bounce it. I'm not sure why that started happening, but it's fine. Um, once it's up and running, and I can I can I can retest it in my personal to make sure Big Skelly Bot has it, and then I can generate the student stuff run that in the main server, generate all the student categories, stuff like that, and then also that will de-identify them, and then I can record the videos from there. Um, and this video can go up. And the text can go up. Like the text instructions can go up. So I'll, I'll, I can call those out and just say I'll be recording like the actual tutorials and stuff like that later. 
So that way, if anybody is like chomping at the bit to do something, they can just follow the instructions and do it. And they can watch this video if they want to see the, the guts of it. But this has not been polished. This is just workflow. <sighs> Perfect. Okay. Go to free, free mocap skelly pot. Because technically, this is a free mocap project. I am an open source contributor to skelly pot. And again, pull requests. Add functionality to deploy configure from a JSON bike. Yep, done that. Oof, it's too much, too much in this PR. Too much in this PR, but it wound up being hard. So, what are you gonna do? Right. No approvals, because fucking on my own here. <sighs> Confirm merge. Branch happens automatically. And now this goes through endurance's dope ass thing. Which is this automation happens, yellow dotto, details, and it's gonna go through and just push to the cloud and all that good stuff. Deploy GCE. Yeah. This gets triggered and run from dot GitHub. Da workflows, and then this this guy, daughter to do. Oh, do I? I don't. Hmm. I do have docs for this. I should. I can and should put some of the instructions on here. Not before I do it directly for the class, like in the spiritual space of like trying to make sure that I'm like not doing like free mocap work. I think saying like, hey, here's these docs. They're on the main thing. Like, like, I'll make the specific class-based ones first, and then I'll generate the genericized form of that elsewhere. It's a little bit of a double step, um, but not that much of one, because it's actually kind of easier to make something for a specific purpose than it is for a general purpose. And I also have to said in the previous video, like there's an advantage to this kind of like, uh, the student-teacher relationship means that like, I'm gonna give you instructions and I'm expecting you to do those instructions, which is very different from the, uh, open source developer to rando user relationship where it's like, I don't trust you to do anything and I know that if it doesn't work immediately, you're never gonna use it again. <coughs> it's just a bar is higher, I guess, because um, All right, let's just make sure it doesn't bonk. It's gonna bonk, it's gonna bonk here. Why won't you show yourself? Show yourself, you coward. Where's, where's your little, or is it just? Don't break, please, I don't want to. What's the big, what's the big noodle scratcher that you got going on here? And why can't I see the output? That's match. Cool. Oh, I didn't like that on GCE. Okay. You're still saying you're yellow, but I'll bet you're green. You are. Good job. Good job. 
job. Good job. I'm out. <laughs>